feeling pretty gutsy. Got healthy and go great with granola. Yummy, yummy stuff. Q2. How many unique positions can the original Rubik's Cube be twisted into? Fewer than 16, exactly 16, more than 16. It's sweet 16. Which one's the sweetest? I've twisted a Rubik's Cube into every position trying to solve the bloody thing. It's way more than 16. Way, way, way more than 16 is the answer that we were looking for here. 176,000 of you knew that. Wow, we lost a lot of you there, really? Over 100,000 of you we lost right there. Now, a Rubik's Cube actually has 43 quintillion possible positions. That means if you made 10 random moves per second, it would take 137 billion years to solve it. Who's got that kind of time in their hands? Let me know in the chat. Q3, which of these is not an amphibian, gecko, frog, salamander? Seems like they're all related. One of, you, one of them has you fooled. Amphibians can live in both water and on land, but which of these three is an imposter? You little lizard. It's a gecko. Gecko is the answer, 197,000 of you get going on that one. A gecko is a lizard, which is a reptile. It's got a better British accent than me. It makes big cash, starring in TV commercials. Q4 in France. And atelier refers to what kind of place? Gym, restaurant, studio. Allez-vous français, s'il vous plaît? C'est bon? You went for a restaurant, you are going to bed hungry tonight, I'm afraid. Not the best place to pump iron, because it's a studio. Yeah, who's pumping onto the next round anyway? 161,000 of you are. There was a brutal question right there. An atelier is where les artistes work on their craft, whether it's fine arts, clothing design, or anything chic in between. Q5 for this next one. Listen closely, listen up. All right, who is the composer behind this classical masterpiece? Is that Brahms, Beethoven, or Chopin? Which master behind the masterpiece? You've all heard that piece of work, haven't you? Three world-class composers, but which one is the man behind this classic piano banger, the Polish child prodigy, Chopin? No, you don't pronounce it Chopin. You chop that one down, 146,000 of you. You know your music, don't you? Chopin's Nocturne in E-flat major is one of his most popular pieces and bangs in the club, especially in gold leggings. Q6. In literature, the Bulwer Lytton Prize is awarded for the worst what? Poetry, opening sentence, romance scene. There was a prize for some sucky work they did. I don't know what's worse. This or the Razzies, a terrible way to start any story. It's the worst opening sentence. And you opened that one up, didn't you? 87,000 if you didn't, another brutal question right there. Not easy tonight. Edward Bulwer Lytton is known for starting a novel with the whack one-liner. It was a dark, stormy night, and now he has this prize named after him forever. Pretty stormy. Halfway. Q7. What's the most populous city in the world's fourth most populous country? Jakarta, New York, Delhi. It's kind of a two-parter, this one. Now, India is the second most populous country, so New Delhi is out. Indonesia is the fourth. The city we're looking for is Jakarta. Yes, indeed, did you follow the crowd here? 49,495 of you did, another brutal. Now, the US is the third most populated country in the world, with 331 million of us here, and we're gaining a whole other person every 18 seconds, apparently. Q8. Stephen Hawking lends his name to a theoretical type of what? Radiation, black hole, gravitational wave. He was such a genius. The late, great Professor Hawking understood all three things way better than any of the rest of us. It's Hawking radiation is the name of it. And you are looking pretty radiant. I see you. And there was a savage. There was a savage question here on Q8. 
We lost about 40,000 of you, 17,000, 50 of you with radiant smiles right now. You're feeling pretty good. Now, he proposed that quantum effects near a black hole's event horizon would release radiation. Who else would you name it for? Steven Seagal? Methinks not. Q9? Which of these states has a state song whose title does not mention the state? Maine, Arkansas, Indiana. Gotta play the right tune here. Which one is it? Three states to sing about, but which one of them has way less of an ego? On the banks of the Wabash, far, far away, but not that far, is Indiana is the state we were looking for. You are jonesing for a win tonight. 17,865 of you are. Main state song is called the State of Main Song. Creative. Well, Arkansas has a bunch of them touting its name. Q10, we're getting close. Here we go. The actor who originally narrated the American TV version of Planet Earth also played what iconic character? Captain Von Trapp, Ellen Ripley, Joe Bluth. Nature can be cruel and so can this game. The original BBC version was narrated by the legendary Richard Attenborough, but Discovery was worried you wouldn't understand English and switched it to the person who played Ellen Ripley. I uh, see so you ripped through that one, 15,000 of you did. Sigourney Weaver did the honours, and the doc was a lot less violent than Alien, for the most part. Penultimate round, it's Q11. Which of these national flags depicts a scroll? Guatemala, Ethiopia, Estonia. Scroll, 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 tap. Tap it good, tap it right. Ah, yeah, look at this gorgeous flag right here. You've got a bird. You've got a rustic wreath. You've got a stunning scroll. Those Guatemalans can be proud of this one. Guatemala is the country in question. 13,509 of you did not flag here on Q11. Fly your own flags high in the chat right now, please. Because we are marching into the final round with 13,509 players left in the game. We've got 655 of you using extra lives to get back in. And we've got $5,000 in the bag tonight. Good luck to each and every one of you players. Q12. The author of what famous work called Mark Twain, a hack, a movable feast, The Great Gatsby, As I Lay Dying. It's a bit rude, isn't it? A hack. Not very nice. He wrote The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, which some consider the great American novel, but not everyone was impressed by Mark Twain and his work. Oh no. Hemingway was a fan, while Fitzgerald seemed indifferent. Faulkner, however, put Twain on blast. He's the guy behind, as I lay dying for the win. We've got 2,709 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> Pretty savage. Congrats to our 2,709 winners tonight. You stayed alive and you are taking on $1.85. Well done to you. We've got an astronaut right there with the rosy cheeks. Uh, Big O311, he's smiling. He's happy about his win tonight. Zippy1987, you zipped through the game. Yeah, you did. Uh, Metal as well. That's a nice. Some nice scenery right there, pretty beautiful. Congrats, 2,709 of you winning Smarter Day tonight. You are pretty smart, the smartest of the bunch tonight. Well done, each cuties. You partied like rock stars tonight, pretty awesome. You came, you played, you totally slayed. Sharon Carpenter, here's where to find me on the socials. Don't be shy, stop by, say hello. Let me know how you did tonight. Of course, don't forget, HQ Words coming up in just a few, 9.30 p.m with my girl Anna and some gold leggings. And tomorrow is the big game, is Disney Villains Trivia. We've got $20,000 up for grabs. Until then, have an awesome rest of the night. See you soon, bye.